most important event in Super Mario's history is about to happen. His birth and rebirth in the form of an animated movie. And here, we're gonna analyze every detail from its second trailer to discover all its secrets and Easter eggs. Wow. Join us hitting the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification so you won't miss our next videos. And now, we're gonna tell you 15 hidden details of the second trailer of the Super Mario Brothers movie. Believe it or not, Mario had a plumbing business with his brother Luigi before becoming the hero of the Mushroom Kingdom, and we finally got to see them at work. We can see Mario fixing a tap in the real world, and it looks like things didn't go quite so well for them because he and Luigi end up entering Peach and Bowser's world through a mysterious pipe. The Super Mario movie is set in Brooklyn, one of the boroughs of New York that connects to Manhattan with its iconic bridge. And it's actually no coincidence that the plot of the film begins here, because in the first Super Mario animated series, the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, Mario and Luigi's plumbing shop was located in Brooklyn. In fact, the fist-raising salute in the trailer could be interpreted as a nod to the initial greeting in the intro of the series. In their origins, Mario and Donkey Kong were rivals, and in the Super Mario movie, they will prove it by facing each other. Although it seems that the plumber is no match for our favorite gorilla. If you take a closer look, the platform where Donkey beats up Mario is one of the beams from the original Donkey Kong game, and we can also see some stairs and barrels. That's a very clear nod to the game that started it all. When Peach and Toad face Bowser's massive flying fortress, we can see some very strangely shaped trees in the background. Those are the Super Bell trees from Super Mario 3D World, which shapes and patterns resemble the power-up that turns Super Super Mario and his friends into cats. We get to see the toads in the castle looking at a huge map of the Mushroom Kingdom world. We can differentiate the following places. The Mushroom Kingdom, where Peach's castle is located and which we all know for its huge mushrooms. That island to the right could be Yoshi's Island, with its unmistakable hills and a huge giant egg on top. In the trailer, we can see several Yoshis running in a stampede, a clear reference to Yoshi's stampede in Super Smash Bros. Above the Mushroom Kingdom, we have the mythical desert world from the Mario games, although some people say it could be Princess Daisy's Sarah Salan Kingdom. Next one is Kong Island, home to Donkey Kong and his family. In fact, the large ape-like structure with a waterfall is a reference to Donkey Kong's theme park from Super Nintendo World. Next to Kong Kingdom, we can see a lava-ravaged kingdom. This is actually the Penguin Ice Kingdom, which was eventually destroyed by Bowser during the film. Finally, at the very top of the map, we have another lava-filled place where Luigi was supposedly lost while running away from several dry bones. Here we have two options. The first is that this is Bowser's kingdom, and the second is that it's just another kingdom that has been destroyed by Bowser, just like the Ice Kingdom. What would Mario even be without his power-ups? The film will show many classic powers we've come to know so well from the Plumber's games, and we've already seen a few of them in this new trailer. Mario looks pretty great in the Tanuki suit from Super Mario Bros. 3 while he's flying away from Bowser's Banzai Bill, even if he's imitating Tails. But Peach looks way better with her power-up, as she's seen using a fire flower while wearing her Super Mario 3D World outfit. Penguins in Super Mario don't usually throw snowballs. That's why some of you have been surprised that these penguins here won't stop throwing whatever they can at Bowser. This attack actually is a reference to Super Mario Penguin Suit from the new Super Mario Bros. series of games, which in addition to allowing him to slide on ice, also allows him to throw some kind of ice balls to freeze enemies. Peach's castle look might be familiar to you, and that's because it's the same design as we saw in Super Mario Odyssey's Mushroom Kingdom. The layout of the towers and even Peach's stained glass window are identical, but that's not the only reference. Inside, there were also several paintings hanging, like in Super Mario 64's Peach Castle. These don't seem to lead to other worlds. Cranky Kong has been making it clear to Donkey Kong for years that he's the one who rules, but he never said he's a king. At one point in the trailer, we can see him on Kong Island sitting on the throne next to Peach, wearing a crown on his head. It's clear that he's in charge here and that Donkey is his warrior? Also, during the car race, we can see that one of the monkeys has a huge resemblance to Funky Kong, who has appeared in a lot of both Donkey Kong and Super Mario games. The suit that Peach wears to face Bowser is nothing less 
dress in her racing suit from the Mario Kart series. But that's not all, because if you remember Mario Kart Wii's opening sequence, Peach was riding a motorbike, the same one she's riding at the end of the trailer. There's no Mario Kart game without a race on the Rainbow Road, and the Mario movie wants to keep that tradition. Mario and all his friends have shown their mad driving skills for a while. They're driving carts, motorbikes, and even giant cars. Indeed, it's a Rainbow Road just like all those we've seen so many times in Mario Kart before. When Mario, Peach, and Toad are gazing at the cliffs, we can see a lot of rocky structures with a strange shape in the background. They correspond to Rock Candy Mines, World 6 from New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch. Bowser is a villain, but he still knows how to throw a good party. There's a moment in the trailer where we can see many of Super Mario's enemies enjoying a real Koopa rave. And keep an eye on the detail because there are many familiar faces, like the swooper from Super Mario World, a couple Koopas playing with a bob -omb, a shy guy in a sniffit chasing a spiny with food, or even a Goomba dancing limbo. During the trailer, we can hear Peach saying, There's a whole universe out there with a lot of galaxies. There's a huge universe out there with a lot of galaxies. A hint that there are more worlds and galaxies to discover outside of the Mushroom Kingdom. That's a little nod to Super Mario Galaxy and the possibility of finding both Rosalina and her beloved Loomis. When Mario is trying to cross the bridge with Peach and Toad, we see numerous cheap sheeps jumping back and forth. This is a little reference to some stages from Super Mario Brothers, where we have to dodge those pesky cheap sheeps to clear the levels while they are jumping over the bridge. Super Mario Maker is also featured in the film, with a level created to be a testing ground for Super Mario. In this Super Mario stage simulator, we can see how the plumber tries to dodge the mythical fire bars from the games, or how he is attacked by a huge stuffed bullet bill. And one more for free. In particular, this toad carries with him a backpack with some badges very difficult to identify in the video. But in the official poster, if we zoom in, we can see that one of them matches the Sand Kingdom from Super Mario Odyssey. Another badge belongs to the Cascades Kingdom with his Tyrannosaurus Rex. And finally, another one from the Mushroom Kingdom. In Super Mario Odyssey, these images appear as stickers. During a moment of the trailer, just before Super Mario starts practicing on the levels to become stronger, we can see behind the kind of beads that decorate the platform on which the main characters stay. We were very stuck by this unusual shape, as it has an extremely similar design to the Super Crown of the Saga, the power-up that's capable of turning Toadette into Peachette, a clone of Princess Peach involved in the mystery. And those were the 15 hidden details in the second trailer of the Super Mario Bros. movie. If you want more, don't forget to take a look at our Nintendo and Super Mario Easter Eggs videos. See you next time!